Hello out there. It's the upward way and we are going to flag up this journey with a review of the book Battle for the Young by Billy Akoni. Various statistics agree that over 50% of adults regret major decisions made during their younger years. They talk about the chances they missed or the wrong course of study or they missed out on some golden opportunities and such likes. And all they could not say is, how I wish. Gary Vinachuk shared his personal statistics that the number of people who start their so-called live action point with the word I wish are outrageous. But the focus of the book is not for the wishes. It's not for those who seem locked up in the regret of their past. The book is targeted at the young ones who are out there saying, I want to make something out of my life. For everybody in this category, you have to know that there is a battle for your life. Drawing his basis from the first letter of Apostle John, the author highlights three phases of life peculiar to human beings. Features of each stage are unique and the author focuses on them extensively. The face of the little children is that stage in life where you are taken everywhere by your parents or guardians as the case may be. You were taught everything and on our way to you, you are being indoctrinated into the belief system of the society, your culture and your generation. This stage is a period of utmost dependence and the little children blindly believe mom, dad and the mental figures as big ones who can never be wrong or lead them astray. The second phase identified was the stage of fatherhood. This is the stage in which your life has been lived. All that concerns you are done and dusted and people in this phase can only look back in retrospect on the choices they have made, the stuff they've been through there are lots in life, and so on. Most people at this stage of life are characterized as dreamers of the past. They like to talk about the good old days, the places they've been, the battles they've won, the glories of years past, the mistakes they've made, and so on. The third phase identified was start the young ones. These are the visionaries because they have their whole lives before them. They are energetic, they are vibrant, they are resourceful and dynamic. Interestingly, the face typically starts by the young man questioning all he had been taught in his growing years. He is inquisitive, he is adventurous, he wants to be independent and he just wants to do things his own way. These are the formative years in which choices are made that will bear long-lasting effects on each one of us. It is a play fact that people want to look younger than their age. All you have to do is take a look at the huge amount of money being pumped into cosmetics and facial surgery, and the matter becomes quite glaring. Pop stars, movie actors, actresses, footballers, athletes, and even politicians are all jostling to keep the good looks as much as possible. But you know what? Time travel remains fictional. You can only be young once in your lifetime. And as much as you love the memory of that, Sweet 21st birthday, you cannot be 21 again. Maybe you are cherishing the memory of your teenage years. It remains nothing but a memory. It is gone and gone for good. So, if you are still young, congrats. You've got to enjoy it while it lasts. But while you are enjoying it, you need to understand the key issues peculiar to this stage of your life. And one of the issues is the fact that the time of youth is a period of making choices. Choices that will mark your life for greatness and glory or choices that will predispose you to perpetual defeat and failure. You lay the foundation for every aspect of your future life in the youthful days. Your career, your marriage and your purpose are mostly spread out at this period of your life. You are the peak of your strength and energy at this stage of your life. All your nerves and instincts are seeking strong expressions and they refuse to relent unless you channel them somewhere. The direction you plow them determines what you will reap in the years ahead. It is a time of warfare. Interestingly, it's not your battle, but it is the battle for your life. Two critical opponents are seriously interested in you and none will relent until the battle is won or lost as the case may be. So you may ask, what is that to me? Well. You are the catalyst to one and the inhibitor to the other. God and the devil are on the lookout for you. You can't be passive on this raging battle. Your response is key. Your soul is the enemy's target 
and you wonder why. It's because the enemy understands that if these foundational years of your life are mad and wasted, there is nothing you can really become. The issues peculiar to you as a young man are the point at which he is gone for your soul. So, the kind of decisions you make, the company you keep, the focus of your life, the investment for your future are all points you will tirelessly labor for you to miss. McMurray is a retired amateur boxer and professional wrestler who currently runs a non-profit organization tagged Champion of Choices. He shared a touching story about Mother's Day and highlights the impact of the choices people make in their younger years. Be sure to check it out in the link provided below. So, that brings us to what I regard as your greatest power, the power of choice. As a youth, as a young man, as a young woman, you are the crucial point of your life. The raging battle over your life does not warrant your loss. All you have to do is decide who you want to win and pitch your tent with such. Choose between Jesus and the devil. The ball is actually in your court. The devil will typically flash many mundane things before your eyes. He's not looking for the aged ones because he knows they are already spent. Knowing the inquisitive nature of this phase of your life, he will entice you with whatever tools he knows will appear alluring to you. Talk about quick cash, the opposite sex, alcohol, drugs, the promise of fame and so on. Don't join the trend of those that found out when it was too late that all these are mere shadows. Jensen frankly in his powerful message, Warning Signs, elaborated on the tactics of the devil to make sure your future is totally jettisoned even while you are young. This review is adding to the list of timely warnings that you can make the best out of your life. Be sure to check out the message with a splendid state drama in the link provided below. Your response today determines the future. Today, the testimonies of the heroes of faith continue to challenge us, but you know what? Their time is gone. This is your time. They have served the Lord in their own generation. This is your generation. This is your time. The warfare of your rages on is called the battle for the young. I wonder what your response will be. The choice is yours. These are the key points highlighted from the book and I would like to let you know that I will be uploading frequently to YouTube videos like this. If you like the video content, please subscribe, share and click on the like button. I would love to hear from you. Can you leave a comment or suggestion on how we can make the best of this our time together. Until next time, go and make the best of your life.